Hello, are you looking for sales dashboard design inspiration? Then here are the five sales dashboard designs that will help in your next project. And if you want to learn how to create such dashboard, then you can join my advanced Tableau dashboard training. With that, let's go and review these five inspirational dashboard that will help in your next project. All right, so here we are with our first sales dashboard, which is a superstore sales dashboard. And it is a very clean layout, as you can see, a very good use of colors, right? Uh, the color which has been used along with the background, which is a light gray and the white to highlight that uh, the visualization as a tiles is something I really like and a clear indication that what we are comparing 2021 versus 2020. And this is the value where you have the maximum or the highest sales. And this is the well, the uh, legend for low sales. So clearly indicating, so that becomes like a theme, which is clearly indicating where you have the highest sales and lowest sales, whether you are looking at trend uh, across the various KPIs like sales, profit, margin, and quantity, or you are looking at uh, profit margin by state, Clearly, these states which are in red is getting the management attention as they are the one which is generating lowest sales. So quick action. That's why I really like it uh, based on how it has been configured. You can see you come over here. You can click on filter. All these filters are available, right? But since they are added as a button, they are not adding a noise to the dashboard, but a very clean looking icon giving you an indication that it is the filter. Second thing is the section over here you want a sales summary you want to look at the regional values then similar output but regional values so that user will just continue with the same legends and all as to what is going on and analyze it finally what you have is a third section as the customer section again you can see similar layout similar max month minimum months from sales perspective and then down below you have the customer specific metrics like how many total customer you have uh, 693 in current year and that is 8.6 percent more year over year is something what you have written same over here and this is the customer distribution by sales like uh, so clearly you know those which are having low value sales is where you have the highest and when the sales value is increasing you know you have the a lower count of customer and then surprisingly you have 49 customer uh, who have generated 3000 plus dollar of sales in 2021 something you may this is interesting for you all right down below the matrix for sales per category sales per customer by category right that is something click on a category to expand that's quite an interesting feature as you can see like a pivot table and it gives you the visualization right so something very interesting and innovative i found it so i thought let's show it to you and top customers is something which is given over here what is their 2021 sales what is their 2021 profit and the count of orders all right let's move on to our next dashboard which is the sales uh, superstore dashboard again but a different design you can see a very clean layout uh, that is indicating it is a superstore this is the landing screen let's say for the executive and uh, and by the way i wanted to make sure that i show you who created this so this is created by agata uh, and uh, the link for this dashboard i will put it in the description so that you can access this dashboard without much of an issue um second is what i'm showing you the dashboard from marcelo Haas. and uh, again i will put the link in the description and this is something again very clean layout what i found uh, you know as a presentation sort of a style like how we are showing the executive slide at a very clear very quickly at a high level information then you have an indication that hey you have some filters or sections so we are in the overview so if you want we can click on product analysis then your product analysis page is there you have the sales by category top five product sales by subcategory and then it is indicating that from phones these are the categories which is generating the sales and you can see that it has been sorted by the product like binders is generating highest sales compared to copiers which is generating the lowest sales so very uh, innovative 
solution which is presented over here so that's why i wanted to make sure that i show you this uh, which i really liked it now another and before i move ahead you can see that one more section is enabled which is a filter section so now you can even filter by year month region state city and segment to this entire dashboard giving you a lot of functionality in your hand right and then you have product analysis similarly you have the regional analysis where you have the region's information uh, what is the top cities top postal code the top city top one city top one postal code and then sales by all the regions right so something i wanted to show you that it is available and finally what you have is the order details so order details sheet is where you will find the order information with the uh, you know key kpis like sales profit profit ratio discount and quantity so that's something available for you uh, in the link that you can go and review and get the inspiration for your next dashboard here comes the next dashboard or the third dashboard now this dashboard is created by ludovic Travernier. i hope i am pronouncing it correctly but uh, this is an amazing design because a lot going on it is a busy dashboard uh, for those executives or those management people who really want to go love going into the data like for example this is a tile for sales total sales sales per store trend by brand then you have the products so sales and then you have the product like distinct product sold average price then you have the inventory tile I, that's how i basically read it it has three section one two three and then four and five so that it gives us the uh, indication about uh, what what is present in this dashboard so clearly laid out as you can see with the com with the current information comparison with the previous period here is the period where you can select it uh, you can choose current months versus per previous month current month versus same month previous year or year to date current year versus previous year right so this is something which is there also you know this is something it has been mentioned like no no or view so these these are i think i supposed to be higher hyperlink but somehow it is not working probably here because i believe what it is doing is once you click it over here it will bring you to the sales view right so for some reason it is not working for me i don't know if it is the functionality has not been given because rest other is clickable you can see right so but still i really like the design and i wanted to show you uh, as 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 part of this this video where you can get the inspiration now the next one is the advanced superstore dashboard so again sales dashboard for superstore data where at the left you have the key kpis with filter like you want to look at state analysis you want to look at customer report you can choose it from here and the information will be available here so a clear indication of what you want to do right if you are in state analysis you can select the uh, i think this is not coming but the select a target date negative profit in the selected month is highlighted with red so clearly indicating where you have it you have your four kpis since it is a state analysis so four uh, regions that you have east central south and west uh, along with their uh, value information for sales and uh, comparison to the previous period and i see that if i click you know the value is changing on the dashboard right so it is clickable and uh, if nothing is clicked then it is showing by default the east region analysis and then a high level trend right which is shown over here so this is something which is available and i really liked it so, looks like a different type of a design for those executive who like you know some innovative designs uh, when they are analyzing the data now the final dashboard i have and by the way this is created by lindsay and uh, i hope i'm pronouncing this also correctly uh, and the link is present in the description finally this is the dashboard i really really like it again from my one of the favorite author pradeep kumar he creates such an innovative design and functionality it really has helped me in my work as to use it and uh, and produce some amazing views right so you can see that at the top what you have is again this chart which he has innovatively used to not just show the chart but show the title right 
So this is something what uh, at the top what is going on. Then you have the sales by region, right? Clearly indicating what result you are showing from 2019 to 2022 because nothing is selected. Over here you have the option of selecting it, which I just click. Now showing result for 2009, uh, sales by region with their trend, sales by state with their highlighted with the uh, value of the sales. And then down below, you have sales by category, straightforward, right? With your contribution versus previous year. So a lot of functionality here as well. Sales trend by category, again highlighted with where the highest sales is. Also down below, you will see that you have the sales by category, in which category you have the highest sales along with the bar chart and the value. Finally, what you have the sales by segment. Again, you have the grand total at the top, but top but you have these segments consumer corporate and home office with this innovative chart right that is being shown over here and then finally top manufacturer by the sales right so this is something an innovative design which i really liked and something you can use for your visualization or for your project as well also here is the option for uh, going to the detail table uh, downloading this as an image downloading this as a PDF. So that's mainly what I wanted to show you. Again, you know, I conduct my trainings as well, where I I basically uh, shows how you can create such dashboards by taking ten different industry examples, which you can create from the scratch uh, after you know my training, and then become more like a professional designer uh, in terms of dashboard development for Tapu. With that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next video with some new design ideas.